mashed potatoes, it's one of life's simple joys. And yes, it's very basic to make, but here are a few tips to make it the best mashed potato you've ever had. Of course, it starts with the humble potato. You wanna use really good quality potatoes. I like to use an all-purpose potato just like this one. You wanna avoid waxy potatoes like Kipfler potatoes because then you'll get a really gluggy and almost lumpy mashed potato. We want this to be light and fluffy. So what you need to do is peel your potatoes, place them in a pot of cold water. You don't want the water to be boiling, you want it to be cold and you want it to come to the boil. Once it's come to the boil, you want to cook them for about 20 minutes or until they're tender and then you want to drain them. And this is where it makes all the difference. You want to allow your potatoes to steam dry. So I've just placed my potatoes into a colander and you can see there's no liquid whatsoever and the steam is dissipating. I'm now going to place it back into the dry pot that they were cooking in. And I'll turn this onto a low heat. And now we can start mashing. There are two different ways of doing this with the good old masher. Or if you want to get it extra, extra silky, you can force this through a drum sieve. But to be honest, at home, I find just the classic way is best. So once they've all crumbled up, we can start incorporating the butter. Now, having the French background, I like a lot of butter in my mashed potatoes. And I'm talking about 50 grams to 100 grams of butter. I've cubed it and it's cold and I like to slowly incorporate it. So a few knobs of butter and with a wooden spoon or a spatula, you just want to start folding that gorgeous butter through the mash. You can already see that there are no lumps and it's quite soft, just right and you want that butter to just slowly melt. I'll add another one and I'll just break this one up a little with my hands and then incorporate it. Okay, cold butter has gone in, but now I like to add hot milk and I want the milk to be the same temperature as my mashed potatoes, so that's why it's hot. We'll add a little at a time and then gradually fold it in. And this is my favourite thing to do, just watching that milk be absorbed by the potatoes. A little more and continue folding. That is ready to go. Serve it up in a big bowl and I always like to just finish my mashed potato with some extra butter. Spread that out, make a little indent in the centre and a little knob of butter. As it goes to the table, it'll melt. A little pinch of salt on the top, and that's how you make my ultimate mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm.